Hey guys, welcome back to Diamonds Reviews and Things. My name is Diamond and today I am going to be showing you guys my portable laundry mat inside my closet, which is behind me. So if you haven't noticed, I did end up losing my voice. Uh, I had a great weekend, so um, I lost my voice. So I'm so sorry if I sound like a squirrel right now. I'm going to try my best to speak as clearly as possible so you guys can hear me. So I'm going to be showing you guys my little portable laundry mat inside of my closet and let's go inside. Ta-da! Oh gosh, no. <laughs> I should not do that. I have no voice. What am I doing? Okay, so here is my side of the closet. My boyfriend's side is like right behind me. That's his stuff. Nothing special. But I was able to fit my portable dryer in my closet so it does suck because it looks like i am i do lose like that much space of clothes or whatever but it's okay um because you can literally turn this um and have it on the other side of the wall if i need more space but i also have another room in my house so i just put other clothes in the other closet so this is what i have in here for now i actually need to wash a lot of this stuff so it looks really really empty but i need to wash a lot of my stuff i have my dryer here and then here I have my bathroom and this is where I have my washer. So right now I am currently washing some clothes um, and I need to get some laundry done really bad. I did follow a lot of your guys' rules and or your suggestions and I put this in the bathtub. So I have the drain out right here and the water drains out into the tub and it's actually a gazillion times better like a gazillion so I was very like not really feeling put in the portable washer hold on let me turn it off okay let me turn it off so you guys can hear me because I can't talk so I was like no I don't want to put it in the um, bathroom because the instructions say not to put it in the bathroom um, and then in my last apartment I had before this house it was not the cord wouldn't fit to the plug in the wall and I didn't want to have like a bunch of cords and stuff like running through the bathroom. If you guys remember my story about it, I kept, I told a story about how, you know, my bathroom was split in two and it just wouldn't reach. It wasn't good for me. So I was picking it up, like the washer up and draining it out a lot. And that just became so just heavy and straining on my body that I was just like, I can't keep doing this every single time to drain it out. So I ended up getting a stand, which was like my old printer stand. It's like, well, it's like a printer stand. Um, a printer was never really on there, but it, it came with my desk. So I ended up taking that, it was on wheels, and I put the washer on top of that. So I think I have other videos of me having it on that stand, and I would wash in the stand and then have the tube hanging down um, by the drain or by the bucket that I still use, and it would drain like that. Picking up the bucket, carrying the bucket from the bathroom to the office to, to you know, fill it up was a lot. And it was just annoying because after so long, I mean, it gets so, hot, so, so heavy, you know, just picking this up all the time. So I put it in the bathtub and it has been a lifesaver. It has been so much easier doing laundry. I actually enjoy it a little bit more now. Um, I always loved my washer, but it was just like the hassle of always picking it up and having to, you know, drain it and things like that. It was just really, really heavy for me. So I'm finally getting in the game and getting like the rest of y'all and I decided to put this in the bathtub. So I had that in the bathtub and then my dryer is right outside the door. So once I'm done doing laundry in here, I move it to the dryer and then I literally hang it up right in my closet. So I'm gonna turn this back on because this is almost done. And I'm not gonna demonstrate how to use it just because I have tons of videos on how to use it. So I um, will wash my clothes in here and literally come in here, dry them. I actually have some stuff drying in here now. I have some of my boyfriend's white tees. He literally has a gazillion of them. Um, and so I'm washing a couple of them and I am going to be putting the ones in here, you know, obviously when I drain and finish washing those, right in here, and then they go here. So it's literally boom, boom, boom. 
So this is so nice to have in my closet. I'm glad it fits like up here. It's super empty, you guys, because like I said, I am moving. So I'm in the process of getting rid of a lot of stuff, a lot of clothes. I cleared off my whole entire shelf and it looks a little empty in here, but I am moving. So this, you guys, having this here has been amazing and it's been easy to just literally have it all in one area. And um, yeah, this, so that's how I've been doing my laundry and it's been perfect. I want to update you guys about this. Now, as you can see, I don't know if some of you guys know, but I did try to get like a replacement dryer for this Manatee portable dryer. Um, the dryer I had before, I don't know if you guys have watched my other video, but it broke. Um, I think like a hanger fell on it and it just went out. So I found this one on Wish which is kind of the same setup as the old one. It has the heater at the top. Um, it's very short. It doesn't have pegs like the other one. It's not touch screen. And I have to have it on this box because it is really short. So it doesn't fit on the bar like it did, like the other one did. Um, and when I got this, I have a whole review about it, but I'll just say really quickly when I got this, um, I was very disappointed. This does not blow out heat the way that I thought it I got it off of wish it was like $25 it doesn't blow out heat the way that I thought and it does not automatically turn off I don't know what this is for but I have had this on this setting for like three days and it's still there like it literally didn't even move an inch so it's been sitting here for days and it does not move like sometimes it will and sometimes it won't it's very very weird but this is not like the best heater however it does work for the time being and it does still help a little bit so i do still use it most of the time if i am if i have clothes drying overnight i will have this on but if i'm dry if i'm washing clothes and i'm drying during the day i will bring a fan in here and just have the fan um dry the clothes you know in the portable washer so or dryer i'm sorry so yeah you guys i still use this i've been using the dryer for about two years i think and i've been using the washer in there for three years and that same washer still works um, it is a little beat up. I'll show you what happened to it. The blue part of this came off um, and I just got tired of trying to put it, putting it back on. So I just left it off. This one, um, I think my boyfriend was trying to learn how to do it and he didn't balance the stuff right in the spin dryer side and it started shaking all over the place, like really, really bad. Like probably the worst I've seen it ever do. So I went to stop it really fast and I spent, I spent the um, knob too hard and it broke. Like I'll show you on this one. This one comes off, by the way. It broke the inside of it. So it was like cracked and it doesn't hold. So when I tried to spin it again, it was just like breaking even more in the inside and the knob stopped working. So I actually ended up prying this one off of it. So now I literally have to move this one back and forth um, to wash and then to spin dry. Overall, it still works, you know, it sucks that it doesn't look aesthetically pleasing, but um, I, it still works and it's it's not broken. It is extremely dirty. That's like the only downfall, you know, just the knobs at the top, they just should have been like maybe a little bit more durable. Um, and it's just dirty. I mean, other than that, y'all, this has saved my life living in an apartment, you know, being able to have this is literally saved my life and so much money. So now that these are done, I am going to drain it out and have the drain do its thing. And the tub is a little dirty just because, you know, lint and all that. But I just clean it out after I'm done. And I'm going to have that drain, y'all. And this has just been so easy. I mean, I still have my bucket that I fill up with. But um, I just have to fill it and bring it right here. <laughs> I'm not bringing it to another room and hauling it around the house and things like that so i am excited that i don't have to do that anymore so i want to start off by saying that this isn't sponsored or anything um i did want to do like a little update for you guys so you guys can kind of see like how i'm still working with it and if i still use it and i do i don't know if i'm going to be posting too many more videos i don't want to speak too soon because i might um, I'm still going to keep this, but I actually just accepted a new job um, and they are moving me out of state to Indiana for the first part of training. 
and um my housing is covered and we have a washer and dryer inside our apartment so i'm really excited for this new journey and i'm excited to have a full size washer and dryer i might not be i don't know how much i'm going to be using this if i have a whole washer and dryer now but um for whatever reason i'm still going to keep it just in case the washer there goes out for whatever reason or something this is just nice to have even as a backup in case your regular washer goes out you have this one it's a backup so i will still have this in storage but i'm probably not going to be using it like that anymore um again like i said i've used this for three years it has been loved on it has been used it has been it definitely served its purpose in my life for the time that i've had it and like I said, I'm gonna keep it, but I am gonna be using like an actual washer and dryer now, which I'm super, super happy about. I just wanted to show you guys my setup, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell notification button to be notified every time I upload a video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.